So a common question that I'm getting a lot in the comments is something like this. How could you put Batman and Robin over Batman v Superman? Or how could you put Son of Mask over anything, especially Spawn or Catwoman or the Spirit or something like that? And the short answer to those questions is a matter of intent. Son of Mask is a children's movie. And so while it is an utter nightmare of a children's movie, it does succeed in entertaining children more than, say, Spawn succeeds in convincing me that Spawn is super cool and edgy. All of that is a preamble to number 122 on my list, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, directed by Stuart Gillard and released in 1993. TMNT3 has a lot of good things going for it. Uh, the creature design is not quite as good as those for the other two, but it's still pretty darn good, a lot better than the CGI monstrosities that we get in the Michael Bay-produced films. Uh, the costumes by the humans are outstanding. The cinematography is handsome. The action choreography is, again, really good, especially compared to movies that we get today. All of that is in its favor. So why is TMNT 3 near the bottom? because it is ridiculously boring. Who in the world had the idea of taking a movie about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and setting it in, what, 16th century Japan? Making it about palace intrigue? This movie, for all it has going for it, fails to entertain children, so it belongs near the bottom of the list at number 122.